Okay, so we're looking at a spectrum image of a multi-layer. So there's a silicon substrate, and then there's a strontium titanate layer, uh, followed by a barium titanate layer. So what I want to show you is how to go from a 3D data set, so a 2D array, to uh, a line profile, SI. So what we first want to do is select one of the spectral data sets so this data set is dual eels. So we have eels low loss, eels high loss, and EDS. So I'm going to go right in and select the eels high loss. Then I just want to draw a line profile. So to do that, you right click, and then you select the line profile tool from uh, the little floating menu. Then we left click and drag where we want our line profile. I can hold the shift key on the keyboard and that will constrain the line profile to be either kind of parallel or at 45 degrees to one of the axes of the data set. So I want it to be this direction. The next thing I want to do is increase the integration width of this profile that I've just drawn. So to do that, I select line profile, make sure that you have a little green uh, handles on the end of the, of the profile region. And then I'm gonna hold the shift key and use the plus key on the keyboard to increase the integration width of my line. So you can see I placed my line quite well. It was in the approximately in the center of my spectrum image. The next thing that I want to do is then right click on the edge of this ROI that I've just kind of placed. And then at the very top of this menu that we see here, there's a function that says extract line scan SI. So just left click on, on this menu item and the software generates uh, a line profile for us, which is kind of from the summed region in this, uh, this kind of ROI that I've just defined here. So it's as simple as that. 